It is the 1st of the 5th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1147. Any news? San Francisco Chronicle, unbelievable hordes of fish near California coast. Most birds, sea lions, dolphins, whales, anywhere. Expert off the charts pelican population, highly unusual, could reflect breeding failures elsewhere. Abnormal ocean conditions to blame? Question mark. What are all these things running from? And they're all accumulating, being pushed up against the coast. Now there's another story coming out of Australia uh, about an ocean temperature anomaly and how the ocean has fluctuated up in temperature recently, spiking. Um, we need to take into consideration that all of this radioactivity being released from Fukushima and Japan into the ocean every second of every day all produces heat. This stuff is still creating fission, okay, which produces heat. Heating up the Pacific Ocean, changing the, t uh, the climate, the whole bit. I mean, we've got a big, big, big problem here. And everything's adding up. The insanity continues. Prestigious group of international scientists interested in risk to West Coast from Fukushima radioactive plume. Major concern for public health of coastal communities. Bioaccumulation potential in region must be understood. They can't hide it anymore. They can't hide it. It's here. It's in our face. It's been in our face. This town is dead. Local feels Fukushima plant could explode any minute. Yearly safe radiation levels exceeded in a matter of a few hours. TV Fukushima evacuees complain of health problems. Nearly 70% of households affected. They're forcing these people back. NHK officials admit it may be impossible to stop leaking at Fukushima reactors. All this produces heat. Pumping into the Pacific every second of every day. We'll be investigating bottom of containment vessels for holes three years later. Government asking engineers from outside Japan for help with melted fuel. It's been in the ground for three years. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Japan TV radioactive release was up to 500 times larger than thought for Fukushima reactor. Surprising surge in radiation levels before explosions. Our understanding of what happened at plant is very limited. There's a video attached with this story. I highly advise you watch it. Basically, uh, what they do for nuclear power plants is they pump steam into cold water, and that steam shrinks and catches the radioactivity so the bubbles don't make it to the surface kind of thing. Well... At Fukushima, that water was hot, and then when they raised the temperature of this water and produced the steam, it just bubbled right up to the surface, which released a lot more radiation. Uh, USA Today, radiation tripled in some albacore tuna off west coast after Fukushima. Bioaccumulating in bones, not only in flesh. Additional exposures to plume could further increase radiation levels. NOAA funded study to expand after significant findings. The NOAA is just another alphabet soup. We're not going to get crap that they don't want us to know out of them. Uh, the tricky thing about this story is, is uh, albacore tuna is such a small percentage of the tuna you get caught and we consume um, every year. Only like 5% of the total catch. And they did a very limited run on these tuna. So the games continue and they're still going to juggle and we're never really going to know the true numbers because these guys just keep going on and on and on with the lie. That's about all I got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or your videos down below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.